This year marks not only the 25th anniversary of the WNBA, but also an original franchise in the New York Liberty. And Teresa Weatherspoon was just one of the legends on hand at Barclays Center last week to celebrate. Teaspoon is responsible for the shot, a buzzer beater in the 99 finals that always seems to come up when talking about history of the league. She told me what she feels looking back on that iconic moment. It's really crazy. You know, it's difficult for me to watch that. And, and it always has been. Um, for me, when I see it, it's, it's different because during that year, I was having a really difficult year due to a death in the family. So when it did happen, it was almost like for me, angels do exist. You know, they do exist. But for us, it was tremendous excitement because we get a chance to play another game. That's the way we saw it. We got a chance to play another game. We were still alive. We had a chance to still win the championship. Um, but what we do like about it is the celebration that was about to happen in Houston, uh, it really shut everything down. I, that place went from an incredibly loud arena to almost like a library. You could hear just anything drop, but only us yelling. Well, you told a story in a video that went viral talking about flaunting your gold medal uh, to an old coach who had doubted you. And your message was about mm -hmm. knowing your worth. Yeah. Uh, why do you think that was so powerful um, in resonating with people? Well, first of all, I didn't even I didn't even know this was going to happen. Uh, we were just actually having a conversation and I was really just um, passionate about sharing the story. Um, but when you when you talk about it, what I wanted everyone to understand was uh, when you take a look at me, when you take a look at the resume, I don't want you to see the end. I want you to really open up the book and see the things that a person might have to go through and fight through, but yet they still trust and believe in who they are. They understand their value, they understand their worth. They don't live, or well, I don't live between the hand claps of people. I live knowing that I am worthy, that I belong. And that's what I wanted people to understand about the story is people see me as, oh, but she's successful, but there's things that happen. So if it happens to me and you fight through, I want people to understand all it is, is it's about you trusting and believing in who you are and what you bring to the table. You have to believe that. And when you do, great things happen. It doesn't matter what people say about you. Like my mom always told me, hey, when they count you out, don't worry about it. They couldn't count anyway. Well, it gave me chills and fired me up at the same time uh, somehow. So thank, thank you for you. that. You're coaching full-time with the Pelicans. Yeah. Uh, players like Zion have shouted you out um, for your yeah. help. What does that mean to you? And what kind of fulfillment do you get just from leaving an imprint on the NBA now as you already have with the W? Well, my everyday thought process when I step into that arena is not for the guys to take a look at my resume and say, you've done this, you've done that. I want them to see what I bring on a daily basis. The sweat equity, it matters. All of that matters, relationships that you have with these young men as well as when I coach with the women and understand those things that are, are pertinent in their lives. I think that's valuable more so than any X and O that you could ever write up. And um, I think that's the one thing that uh, these young men see in me is that I, I truly care. I care first. And when you care about them and they know you care about them, the instructions that you give, they're going to go with it. They're going to run with it. And it's just a great thing. It's an awesome feeling. It, 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 no one can tell you that it's not. It's an awesome feeling when someone like Zion calls your name and says that you're good at what you do. But my thing for him and to all the guys and all the girls that I ever touch, I just want to give results. When the Pelicans had a head coaching vacancy, your name was in the conversation. And while you do what you do, no matter the role, what does it say about the state of the game that qualified women are being strongly considered for these leadership positions. Yeah, you, I think you just answered it, qualified. Um, that's the most important thing is you have to know that you're qualified and you, you, you can't settle for anything less than that. Because the one thing I think everybody knows about me is I don't want you to use me and just check a box. I put work in, I study the game. I love the game, first of all, and I want to do great things in the game. I want to do great things for people in the game. That's what it's been about for me all my life and it'll never change.